Hello, my name is Megan Chekai. I'm with Penn State in the Weed Science, and today I'll be talking about my research. Our joint research being completed at Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Virginia is focused on understanding how to best optimize our application time of residual herbicides in a planted green soybean system. This research is focused around the questions that farmers have, and that is, when should I apply a pre-residual herbicide in a planted green soybean system. In our region, farmers who incorporate cover crops typically terminate them two weeks prior to soybean planting. However, some farmers are interested in planting green as a means to plant soybeans earlier in May to maximize the growing season for a potential yield benefit. On the other hand, some farmers are also interested in delaying cover crop termination around cereal rye and thesis to maximize above ground biomass as a means for early season weed suppression. This leaves us with a question of how should we adjust our residual herbicide application program when planting green early at the cereal rye boot stage or planting green late at cereal rye and thesis. To do this, we have residual herbicides going out before soybean planting, at time of soybean planting, or with an in-crop application timing. Across Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Virginia, over the course of two growing seasons, our cover crop biomass was between 1,500 and 3,500 pounds per acre. However, previous research suggests to adequately suppress early season weed germination via cover cropping biomass needs to be around 4,000 to 5,000 pounds per acre. Our low cover crop biomass is likely due to low levels of nitrogen and late season cover crop planting. From our experiment, we wanted to answer these three questions. The first question being, when best to apply residual herbicides for an early season weed suppression? Our results suggest that residual herbicide application for early season weed suppression should be made at time of soybean planting regardless of planting green early or planting green late. When residual herbicides are applied at time of planting, this resulted in weed suppression four to five weeks after soybeans were planted. Our second question is focused on whether or not planting green practices can help achieve season-long weed suppression. We found across all three locations that planting green with a residual herbicide application made at time of soybean planting did not achieve season-long weed suppression. On water hemp or palmer amaranth, to achieve season-long weed suppression, we needed an additional residual ap herbicide application made at post timing. Our final question is focused on whether or not there was a soybean yield increase when planting green early. In Pennsylvania, we found that soybean yields did increase when planting green early compared to the standard practice where cover crops were terminated two weeks prior to soybean planting. In Delaware and Virginia, we found that there was no yield penalty when planting green compared to the standard soybean practice. In conclusion, we found that planting green can help early season weed suppression. However, higher cereal rye biomass than what we saw is needed to reduce residual herbicide inputs. We also found that more research is needed to better understand the soybean yield potential when planting green.